we posted a question on our Facebook page, the Nightline Facebook page, and we want to bring in one of our friends uh, from Facebook now as, uh, as people weigh in. Uh, from, uh, you know what? Oh, Andrew Noyce. I, I, I dropped my piece of paper. I wasn't sure who was going to step forward. Andrew, good to see you. Thanks for being with us again. Absolutely. Good to see you. Andrew is the uh, manager of public policy communications for Facebook. Uh, he's on Skype joining us from D.C. tonight. So you can look at uh, keywords, uh, at trends to see how the conversation is going virtually in this country. And, and what is popping up when it comes to uh, that gun control debate? Sure. We, we've seen so much discussion on Facebook over the past couple of days ab about this debate. Um, uh, w with Particularly um, with respect to gun control, we've seen about 26,000 and growing mentions of gun control in the, about the last 12 hours. Um, references to the Second Amendment, uh, about 6,500 uh, uh, messages. Uh, specific to, uh, to Lochner, we've had 110,000. So it seems like people are really, uh, really discussing this, uh, this issue um, as, as the days wear on. We did ask our folks at the Nightline Facebook page uh, just that. Does, does the country in general, Arizona specifically, need tougher laws? And uh, just some of the responses. Tim says no to tougher gun laws. Just enforce what you have now. You can pass all the laws you want. It's not going to stop criminals from getting guns. On the other hand, Stephen weighs in. Guns and ammo just need to be harder to get. No reason to have one without a good reason. Licensing should be difficult, at least with handguns. Gun ownership should be treated more as a privilege than a right. So you saw those mentions. You don't know which side those folks fall on the debate, but you can see it's trending. And what about uh, Gabrielle Gifford's memorials? Are there fan pages uh, that are growing as a result of her state? Certainly. Um, not only are the fan pages uh, growing, but the, um, the fans of her pages are growing. So um, Representative Giffords has an official congressional Facebook page in addition to her campaign page. Um, the uh, campaign page has grown from about um, 6,000 fans to 17,000 fans on Saturday. Now we're up to about 26,000 fans. On the official congressional page, we're looking at about 13,000 fans, um, grew by several thousand during the day on Saturday. In addition, some pages that have popped up. There's a Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords prayer page that's got about 25,000 fans, um, a, a page, a million prayers for Gabrielle Giffords, about 2,000. There's also a, a page in memoriam to uh, Christina Taylor Green, the nine-year-old who lost her life. That's got about um, 24,000 fans. Additionally, there's a page that was set up by, uh, member, by staffers on Capitol Hill to honor Gabe Zimmerman the uh, staffer who lost his life in the shooting. And that's got about 4,000 fans at this point. Well, it's certainly providing comfort to the families. Uh, Congresswoman Giffords certainly can't read her Facebook page, but uh, something for her family perhaps to read to her. So keep those coming. Andrew, appreciate your insight tonight. Thanks very much. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll see you next time.